The Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall visited South End on Sea on March the 1st to formally mark the moment Essex welcomed its second city. The seaside town, which was a favourite holiday resort for many Londoners during the Victorian era, joined the county town of Chelmsford after the tragic death of one of its MPs last October. Sir David Amos, who served as the MP for South End West from 1997 until 2021, died from stab wounds sustained in a terror incident whilst holding a surgery meeting at Belfair's Methodist Church in Leon C. Sir David had long campaigned for South End on Sea to be granted city status, but the Borough Council's bids in 2000, 2002 and 2012 were overlooked. Shortly after Sir David's death, Boris Johnson announced that the Queen had agreed to make South End a city to honour the late Conservative MP. Many local residents have since paid their respects to Sir David at a commemorative service held at the Cliffs Pavilion Theatre. The Sir David Amos Memorial Concert, which featured his successor Anna Firth, was lauded by locals on social media as fantastic. The people of Southend now hope the area will see an increase in investment in the years following the city status announcement. A recent study found that almost half of Southend's residents are living in the most deprived areas in England. However, Southend's economy is heavily dependent on its long-standing legacy as a tourist hotspot, with more than 6 million visitors every year. Investors might look to benefit from several attractions in Southend, including the city's beaches, its theme park adventure island, and its 1.34 mile long pier, which is said to be the longest pleasure pier in the world, and includes its own 132 year old railway line. <laughs>